Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the FOIL method. In this case, when you have two quantities inside parentheses next to each other, you're going to want to FOIL them, okay? And some of you have seen this a long, long time ago when you were in high school or whatever. We're just going to review what that means. We say FOIL because it means first, outer, inner, last. And basically what you're going to be doing is distributing this first um, quantity to this next quantity. And the way that we do it is we distribute each of these integers. So first, first stands for the first variable or first item within the quantity. And you can see that this is x times x. When we distribute, we multiply. So x times x is x squared. Then we're going to go to the outer, all right? That's going to be the outer points, the x and the 4. Well, x times 4, a positive 4, is plus 4x. Now we have the inner, and the inner is going to be inside the equations here. And you can see we have a 3, a positive 3, and an x. So that is 3 times x, which is a positive 3 x. And then finally, the last, the last items in both quantities, which is the 3 and the 4. And this is going to be 3 times 4, both positive, and that's going to give us a positive 12. Our next step in this exercise is to look to see if we can combine like terms. And that means that you combine numbers or integers that are the same or attached to the same things. So you can see here there are no other x squareds anywhere in this equation. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring down that x squared because that's as combined as it can be. But you can see in the middle here, I have a 4x and a 3x. Both are like terms. It's an integer and then it's connected to a variable. An integer connected to a variable that's not squared or anything. It's just simply the variable. So I can combine these two. So when I add 4x plus 3x, I get a 7x. Remember, we're not multiplying like we did up top. Up top, we multiplied because we're distributing. Down here, I'm just adding a positive 4x and a positive 3x, which is going to give me a positive 7x. And then finally, I have this last um, thing at the end here, a 12. It's just an integer attached to nothing. There are no other just plain old integers in the equation. So that's just going to simply be brought down like this. And my answer is x squared plus 7x plus 12. You may also see this where you have a positive and a negative sign within the two quantities. So when you have a situation like this, you still want to use FOIL. And let's do that now. First is going to be x and x. So the first two is x times x, which is x squared. Then we have outer, which is x and negative 3. Be careful. Pay attention to your negatives. This is going to be negative 3x. And then I have a positive 3 times x in the inner part. So positive 3 times x is plus 3x. And then I have a positive 3 times a negative 3 here for my last. And that's going to be a negative 9. Be very careful when you have negative numbers when you're distributing. Now, if I want to combine like terms, obviously I just have to bring this x squared down because there's no other x squareds to combine with. And then I have a negative 3x plus 3x. Well, this cancels out. This equals 0. So I can just get rid of them and then just bring down, be careful here, the negative 9. In this situation, x squared minus 9 is the correct answer. Finally, you may be faced with something like this that's slightly more complicated than the first two we did, but the, the method is still the same. We're going to still use the FOIL method here. We just have a situation where we have a, an integer in front of the variable, but it's the same exact thing. We're going to do first, which is 2x times x, which is 2x squared. Then we're going to do the outer here, which is 2x times a positive 7, and that's going to be a positive 14x. Then we're going to do the inner part, which is a positive 6 times x, which is 
positive 6x, and then the last, which is going to be a positive 6 times a positive 7, which is a positive 42. Again, we're going to combine like terms. I have nothing that I can combine this one with, so I'm just going to simply bring it down. And then I have a positive 14x plus 6x, which is a positive 20x. And then I have nothing to combine this 42 with, so I'm just going to bring down the 42. And the correct answer for this would be 2x squared plus 20x plus 42.